this a week to, to kind of work on some things and, and fine tune some things as you go forward? Yeah, the, the fine tuning, you know, I think is important. It's this time of the year. Um, we got to be pretty smart with what we're doing in practice too. So it's a good opportunity to, to also, you know, because you just can't kill them with a week of practice. So we got to be pretty smart with how we're how we're practicing. But no doubt, fine tuning, especially with some of these turnovers we're having. We got to we got to get that we got to get that back out of there. Um, that's just just it really hurt us. It hurt us in three halves this weekend, and. Uh, we did some nice things around that, but those those turnovers were, were were pretty crucial, especially on Saturday. How do you practice getting out of turnovers? Well, I, I think for sometimes them seeing them on film helps, because a lot of these turnovers were we were maybe just trying to make the play too early, too quick, just maybe didn't have the poise that we needed. Because um, you know, going back and, and watching the film, a lot of it was that we just were trying to maybe play. Uh, or be too aggressive when when maybe the play wasn't there, and you just gotta you gotta really have some poise and make the easy play. And uh, when you watch that film, especially the USD in that first half, when we kind of just let read the defense, didn't try to make the play, just made easy plays. We got good looks. Um, you know, Philip turned it over too much inside, uh, and he didn't have three days of practice before leading up to it, uh, and that showed a little bit maybe. But but we, we got to the we got the ball where we wanted some uh, inside and we we just had too many turnovers inside as well, but yeah just easy plays stop making the difficult ones, um, so that's 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 our focus with it. Did some guys get uh, get court experience? You hope uh, helps them move forward. I hope so. You, you know, I, it's it's been kind of nice to see G. You know, G was a, he's, he was aggressive both uh, both games. Uh, for the most part, uh, obviously, you know he 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 scored the ball pretty well. Nora Roberts, he got a couple offensive fouls and stuff, but he was a, he's he's becoming more and more aggressive, which is good to see. He made a three in that game on Saturday. He's becoming more and more aggressive, which is good. As a freshman, that's nice to see that this time of year because we're gonna we're gonna need that down this stretch. So, without question, for him, it's it's good to see. Going off of that, what do you think? Kind of an, another off season of working out and conditioning is going to is going to do for him like what do you see of his like prospects in the program well he can stretch the floor pretty well shooting and and yeah it's it, it, this, he's going through this for the first time right he was playing high school basketball last year down in florida so he's going through this for the first time so a spring of weights and workouts um a, a summer of that uh and, and then coming into the fall next year having a little bit better idea what he's getting into i i, I think that helps him a lot He's a smart, you know, intelligent guy, um, and I think just understanding what this takes, how hard it is, is something he's kind of realized this year. Man, this is it's hard. It's physical, and uh, so all those experiences and plus that time in the off season is going to really help him. That kind of the home stretch coming up for the regular season. What are you hoping uh, to accomplish in the month of February? Well, I, I just. I, I felt this way about this team that I, I just think we can be a, va a very dangerous team. Let's let's get ourselves in a situation where um, we're playing our best basketball. You know, those last that last week going into uh, the, the tournament, and, and if we can get ourselves in a tournament and give ourselves a decent seed in that tournament, um, I, I just we've seen everybody in this league now. We've had a chance to play everybody at least once, and you know, some obviously some you know, USD is very good. Um, SDSU very good, uh, North Dakota State. I've just felt all those games were games that we did some really nice things in. Um, but we, we've just got to be better at some things that, uh, like taking care of the ball or, or defensively, more awareness, more urgency for 40 minutes. Uh, that Oral Roberts game was a, was a better example of us really not playing perfect basketball, but grinding and being, being able to grind it when it's not good instead of getting wrapped up and worried about it when it's not good. And so we need to have a little bit more of that going forward and then cleaning up these turnovers. Um, and if we can do those things, I just I feel like I feel like we, we're definitely a team that has the abilities to to beat anybody in this league. Was there a game this season you guys you felt like you played a full 40 minutes through the that you had? Well, a full 40 minutes. Uh, I, I don't know. As a coach, you probably it's hard to really say that. I, I, I think you look at it more from an effort standpoint and just the way your team is responding to adversity on the floor. In the Oral Roberts game, we responded pretty well. Um, 
and, and, and there's been games where we've done that a lot, but maybe we just have breakdowns. Um, but, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if we've had that many games where for 40 minutes we were, we were the best team that we could be. Um, but it would be nice to find that. It would be nice to find that down the stretch here.